so recession proof strategy is what I do is the single tenant building. Like in Puerto Rico, you come in, I have an area that always have cruises. The area is like an open shopping mall. While all retail and shopping malls are dying, those who have character and an experience will continue to thrive. So you go into an area like Old San Juan, Puerto Rico, I have survived 2005, 6, 2009, 2011, terrorist attack. everything you can imagine, who survived it through the years because it has influx of business and I have national tenants with triple net, or, or smaller jewelers that make good money and they can pay. And upstairs, we have the long term or the Airbnb. So that type of structure works very well. You have the mixed use, you have the long term with, with corporate guarantees, you have something upstairs, or you just have long term tenants that are uh, standalone buildings because they have, um, they have corporate guarantees. In 2009, when the economy, if you remember 2008, 2009 was so bad. Puma wanted to cancel the lease. They had to pay me $1 million to get out. 2011, Burberry wanted to leave. They had to pay me $1 million to get out. What was I doing with these millions of dollars? I was buying other buildings with pennies on the dollar because other people didn't know what they were doing and I actually thrived. So, and to answer your second part of the question, is there a fund I can get in that is, what, 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 how did you position the question? A recession proof fund. To okay. Invest. I am set up in my real estate fund to be recession proof based on six steps. Number one is I look for safety. So I buy assets that are in San Francisco luxury homes, 6 million to 25 million. This elite type of properties have elite buyers that will pay no matter what's going on. They come in with private jets. These people are like, this is their third home, fourth home. Okay. We buy these homes, we luxury homes, we remodel them and sell them. So we look for safety. We look for cash flow. Also in the fund, we have mixed use commercial properties in Puerto Rico to produce income. So I have my own portfolio of 16 buildings. I have some other additional portfolio and I have some that are under uh, LLC that I fully own. So that's also under the fund that produces cash flow with mixed use. And the third is the residential development we do in Florida which will buy the lots very expensively. We do cookie cutter development and they sell before we even finish. So this diversification is very important. So we look at number one, safety of the assets. Number two, cash flow. Number three, liquidity. Number three, liquidity. It's very easy to sell them, very easy to borrow against them. Number four is cash reserves. You will always have cash reserves to cash out investors or jump on a good deal. Number five, we actually have diversification by location. California, Florida, Puerto Rico, by type of assets, luxury residential, cookie cutter residential, and mixed use commercial. And we're also diversified, not just by location and type of assets, but style of investing. Expand luxury and improve and sell, build and sell, buy, reposition and keep. So that measured diversification formula, that perfect trifecta that helped us with number five thing, which is diversification and number six, I believe with what's called backup plans. So my fund, I reckon, is one of the best in terms of recession proof. That doesn't mean it's 100% safe, but we mitigate the risk, we manage the risk, and we have survived 15 years almost now, never missing a payment, never missing a cash out needed, and never being late on anything.